Welcome to Macmillan Education. Structure of the Atmosphere. Hey, Mummy. Hey, Nina. What have you been up to? Hmm. Just had my shower and was trying to dry my hair when Daddy started lecturing me why I must not use the hair dryer. And? And I'm not sure. Right now, I am annoyed with Daddy. Why does he start lecturing me about everything these days? Oh, come here, Pumpkin. Don't get very upset. I'm sure he did not mean to lecture you. He's only trying to educate you. Educate me about what? I was so angry at him, I hardly paid any attention on all that he says. But he kept repeating ozone layer in every sentence. That is exactly what he was educating you about. Ozone, an important trace gas in the upper atmosphere, absorbs most of the harmful ultraviolet radiation of the sun. It protects and shields life on earth. Ultraviolet rays can cause sunburns, various skin and eye diseases and even cancer. The ozone layer is depleting because of some appliances that we use recklessly. Appliances like air conditioners, fridges, vacuum cleaners, hair sprays, insect killer sprays and hair dryers that use chlorofluorocarbons, CFC, cause a harmful effect on the ozone layer. Really? Mummy, this seems scary. It sure is, my love. Now I hope you understand Dad's concern. There are times we land in situations that you have to use these appliances, but otherwise they must be avoided. I feel sorry for playing a part in destroying the ozone layer. I'll go talk to Daddy. I'm sorry, Daddy. I don't quite know about the ill effects of appliances that use CFC. That is okay, Princess. Do you want to know more about the atmosphere? Sure. The atmosphere extends upwards to a height of 1,600 kilometers and it gradually thins out into space. There are five layers in the atmosphere which separate the Earth from the extreme and inhospitable climate of space. Tell me about the five layers, Daddy, please. Sure. The layer closest to the Earth is called the troposphere. This is a region of rising and falling air that extends up to a height of 13 kilometers at the equator and 8 kilometers at the poles. It is a mixture of various gases in different proportions in which all life forms thrive. So, Daddy, is this the layer that controls all the climate changes? Yes, you are a brilliant kid. All weather changes like fog, rainfall, lightning, cloud formations, snowfall, thunder, storms take place in this layer. This is also the densest layer of the atmosphere in which 75% of atmospheric mass is concentrated and the air pressure drops with increasing altitude. This layer absorbs the maximum amount of heat radiated from the surface of the earth and keeps the earth warm at night. The temperature in this layer drops uniformly at the rate of 1 degree centigrade for every 165 meters of altitude, which is known as the normal lapse rate. Ah, that is why higher altitude areas are cooler. Absolutely. The tropopause acts as the boundary separating the troposphere from the stratosphere when the temperature stops decreasing. The greenhouse gases can be emitted through vehicles, the production and consumption of food, fuels, manufactured goods, materials, wood, roads, buildings, etc. It is important that we use our resources in a sensible. Right. The next layer would be stratosphere. Right, Daddy? Yes, but how did you know? Oh, you just taught me that troposphere and stratosphere are separated by the tropopause. Very good, Nina. 
The stratosphere is the region of horizontal and stable airflow. It extends above the troposphere to about 50 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. This layer is ideal for flying jet planes because absence of convection currents makes this layer stable. That is why we cannot open the windows in a plane. We are out of the troposphere, right Daddy? Absolutely, Princess. Now in the upper layer of stratosphere is where the ozone layer is present. The ozone layer protects us from the lethal effects of ultraviolet radiation of the sun. And the ultraviolet rays can cause sunburns, various skin and eye diseases and even cancer. Now, how did you know this? I didn't mention this earlier, did I? <laughs> no, Daddy, you did not, but Mummy did some time back. Ha, huh. this layer is also free from all other types of weather phenomena. As there is very little water vapor, dust and almost no clouds. In the lower part of the stratosphere, up to an altitude of 20 kilometers, the temperature remains fairly constant. While in the upper part, there is an increase in the temperature due to increased absorption of ultraviolet radiation by the ozone layer. These are two layers. What are the third, fourth and fifth layer, Daddy? Next comes Mesosphere. This layer lies above the stratosphere and extends from the stratopause up to an altitude of about 80 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The temperature decreases with a rise in altitude in this layer and reaches about minus 100 degrees centigrade at the mesopause. This is the boundary between the mesosphere and the thermosphere. This layer has ice clouds or noctilucent clouds. As the water vapor present in this layer are frozen due to low temperature, this layer protects us from most meteorites as they burn out due to friction with the atmosphere. Next is thermosphere. Yes, the thermosphere lies above the mesosphere and below the exosphere extending up to 400 kilometers above the surface of the earth. The lower part of this layer is also known as the ionosphere due to maximum concentration of the electrically charged particles known as ions which reflect radio waves back to the earth enabling wireless communication. Thermopause is the boundary in between thermosphere and the exosphere. What is exosphere, Daddy? The exosphere, the uppermost layer of the atmosphere, stretches from the ionosphere upwards to 1,600 kilometers and gradually merges into space. This layer is extremely rarefied and is the region where atoms and molecules escape into space, as the air molecules here are negligible. It is the thinnest layer of the atmosphere and only hydrogen and helium are predominant in this layer. Daddy, I have learnt in school that Earth revolves around the Sun. What happens to the atmosphere then? It also moves along. Why is the atmosphere the thickest towards the Earth? The Earth's gravitational pull is greatest near the surface of the Earth. Hence, the atmosphere is densest in the lower layers. And as we go high, it becomes thinner or rarefied, finally merging with outer space. Ah, so we have five layers of atmosphere. Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Absolutely right.